welcome to my new guitar nerdery video. This video, this topic is completely related to the one of my former video using octaves. And this time I want to encourage you to use it for everything actually. This time I don't want to show you a special lick or a pattern. It's just really learning to see the octaves and use them to expand your ideas across the octaves. Being able to repeat an idea through the octaves makes the listener follow you and you can easily spread an idea. Like I showed in my former video about the extended pattern for the minor pentatonic scale. This time I show everything in G. Octaves on the guitar sitting like this. If I have a G here, two frets up, two strings down, the next G, and then because of the different tuned B string and the offset that comes with it, three frets up and two strings down, the next G. All within the reach. It's also good to realize that the correlation between those three strings is the same for those three strings. So if I have a C here, again, two strings down and two frets up, the next C, and then every time we come across the B string and the offset, three frets up and two strings down, the next C. But let's stick to the first three strings, the low E string, the D string and the B string, because the roots we find there we use as orientation marks for uh, building up ideas and move them through the octaves. I showed that also in my former video, but again, the correlation between those two strings, E and A, D and G and B and E is a perfect fourth. They are all the same. So that's why if we take these octaves as orientation marks, we can move the same patterns through the octaves and the finger setting is not changing. What worked with the minor pentatonic scale or the blues scale, it actually works with everything. If I, for example, play an arpeggio, uh, try it on these two strings. Uh, G minor. I can play with the same finger setting, two strings up and two frets up, the same one octave higher. And then again in the next octave. Or if I have a lick like this. I can repeat it here and here. Or, yeah, actually with everything. A shredding lick. Pretty cool. You gain a lot by learning those octaves and learning to see them. You're pushing yourself out of that box thinking. So you always leave the box, you're not staying in the position. Furthermore, you can develop an idea, you can repeat it through the octaves. And that's a very cool thing to get the listener attracted and that he follows you. You get a grip on him. You see, using the octaves is a very cool thing. 
I hope I could encourage you to do that. This was it for today. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe and I'm looking forward to see you next time.